Hello. I've been uh, having a look at this Durston ring stretcher, stroke reducer, stroke bender. It's a three-in-one tool. So this is by Durston, who are well known for producing uh, good quality tools. We'll have a look at what it does. It comes out of the package pretty much like you see here. The only thing you need to do is screw in this handle. And an important thing you need to do is uh, bolt it to your work surface. You don't want this sliding around. Uh, it doesn't come with the fixing bolts, is that right? Okay, so, um, but it's an easy enough job and I can see that isn't going anywhere, which is exactly what we want. It works incredibly simply. So we look at the enlarger, first of all. You can see it's made out of this series of splines on here. These are a test ring. So you pop it on there, and then you simply push the handle tentatively, particularly if you only want it to be uh, enlarged a little bit, because this does a lot of work uh, very easily for you. So you push a little bit, you can see the splines open up, then you pull back to release the ring, turn it over, because you want to uh, stretch it evenly on both sides, push again. Um, and then take it off and you can check. Let's have a look. I did it a tiny bit then and that's that stretched it half a size and I was being incredibly light-handed. Um, so it's very, very easily... I've done it before where I was seeing sort of what a full push did and I, I changed the size by sort of three, four sizes, so tiny bits. Um, you can stretch. I have stretched... Uh, I have stretch rings with stones in on here. Again, I'd be super tentative. Um, it depends on how delicate it is and how delicate the setting is, because obviously if you keep stretching it, you're going to put stress on the setting and you're going to end up with a stone whizzing across the room. Plain bands, it's brilliant. Um, but it's a really simple job and it, there's almost no effort involved at all on your part, which is great. So that's that part. If we look down at the reducer, so how this works, there's a, a, a plate here with different sized holes and same handle acts as a sort of a press here. Um, what you need to do is oh, you need your ring to be, it says about between 20 and 25 percent of it sticking out so you need to take a bit of time to make sure it's level and then you turn, turn the wheel so that your ring is underneath the press okay and then you pull the handle and release it turn it turn the ring over and repeat the process making sure it's level we're going to end up with a wonky ring and press down again Obviously, you can repeat that. Let's just have a little look a minute. Okay, so that's taken it down again. So that's that's reduced it by half a size. What you can see um, is it does curve the outside edge. You might not be able to see because you didn't see this before, but it has curved the edge slightly. Obviously, you're you're compressing it on the edges, so. You're not going to want to reduce a ring by a huge amount because it's going to significantly change the profile of it. Um, but that's quite pleasing, actually. Um, again, it, it, it does what it's set out to do, um, which is fabulous. If we have a look at the third part, this comes with two removable dies. Here's one, if I just show you. This is the one for curved surfaces, so uh, you know, dome-faced rings for court or desection bands. And the one in here is for flat bands, which I'll show you now. Okay, so you get your stock. This isn't an annealed. Um, obviously, it'll make it slightly easier if it is, but you can do it without. And then you just feed it in, pull the handle down. If you do it in small increments, it's best because you get a smoother result. You've got to make sure, I'll show you afterwards how to adjust this. Just keep feeding it through, and then, see, 
kept appearing like magic at the other side. Normally I would use uh, ring pliers and then form uh, the ring on the mandrel after I've soldered it. But this means you've got a nice clean uh, profile ring already before it's even soldered. Okay, so you slide it off. And you can see obviously I would have kept going but it's giving you a nice, a nice clean curve. Be gentle and you won't mark the surface. And if you look here, if I can just show you, if you turn these screws, there's the die and that, um, that's where you adjust it. If you have, come and have a look over the top, you can adjust, adjust the, the position depending on how thick your, your, um, your silver stock is there but it's all I mean this whole unit is fairly idiot proof which is lucky um, no it's very very easy to use it does exactly what you you want it to it feels a bit like a luxury item it's something I've done without before but the, the tools I had to use previously were much much uh, less nicely designed much more difficult and much more hit and miss this requires minimum of effort on your part um, to produce consistently good results, which is all you can ask for.